Good evening, Freedom Fighters. It is 554 Alaska time, March 20th, 2024. Looking at the last 12 hours in the Gulf of Alaska, heavy chemtrailing today, as I shared in the videos. Over and over, they trailed us offshore of Sitka. You can see it heavy to the north, and you can see the trails from Sitka. Let's go by one more time, and then I'm going to put it in thermal, and you can see it very well. And I'll stop and show you. Very heavy kiln trailing in Sitka today. You can see it very well. This is 7 a.m. this morning. I could see it immediately when I woke up this morning. I sent several videos out. Very distinct. Sad to see such a beautiful place Kim trailed over. Toxic weather controlling chemtrails. All day long they were spraying until this evening and they quit. We have very little air traffic here. Let me show you what we have here. Very little air traffic up here normally compared to the rest of the world. You get down here in the States this heavily. But if this was from this rugged condensation, it would be the whole country. It's not. It's concentrated. Very concentrated areas. We're using Starlink satellite. Let me show you that real quick. I'll show you the satellite system we're using unbelievable satellites and i think they're a lot to do with the waves i'm about to show you massive waves and frequency waves coming out of mexico today in california i'll show you but heavy chem trail let me continue here heavy chem trailing this morning off of california unbelievable this morning let me load this up back at 6 a.m this morning in california just offshore of San Francisco. I would say hundreds of lines. Hundreds of lines. Massive operation. Incredible operation this morning off California. You see some kind of machine work in the fog bank. There's some kind of energy there. How many aircraft must have been spraying offshore California and Oregon and Washington today? Not to mention what we were seeing in the Gulf of Alaska. We were getting sprayed here, and it's coming down and coming part of all this. Let's put it into motion and see what it does here. You see how this material is being sprayed up here. I hope this is coming out good. I'm using a headset for the very first time. I'm trying to see what works the best. Heavy chem trailing down south here, and you can see this material just comes down south to it. All right, some really heavy frequency waves. Oh, look at that. What's that? A fire in Washington? Could you imagine forest fire or something started right there? Let me put put it back in motion there. That's some kind of fire or something that looked like it. They can use all the smoke they want. I mean, they want all the smoke they can get from this stuff. See, it started right there. Is that cloud machines? I just showed you a picture of a cloud machine. It's a nightmare to know how much stuff they have out here affecting these weather systems. But let me show you the frequency wave. Sea waves, standby. Okay, we're uh, in Mexico here at 11 o'clock this morning, and you can see where the machine kind of just turns on here. See, everything got like a fingerprint. 
in this area here. Really big weight harp. I don't even know what to call it anymore. It's, harp's just a name they give it. It's just microwaves. It's just energy. They were electrifying the atmosphere in the 1930s with weather balloons. That's some kind of glitch. But you can see down here, it's some kind of frequency waves. And they really turn on here. Right there. And they can just push this material wherever they want it to go with this machine. Uh, I think I've seen it in California really bad, too. Let me see here. We'll put it in motion here a minute so you can watch it. It's got a real bad glitch in the technology they give me. Even though I'm paying for it. Still see the frequency waves. But you can see how it's normal clouds. And after their little glitch, too, something happens. Even some big frequencies, too. I don't know that's weird, but you can see the pattern. They call it gravity waves, street clouds, roll clouds. Let's we'll see if they were chemtrailing in the Gulf today. I really didn't get to look at it. Yeah, see, that's something that's really weird. I don't know. Some kind of glitch in the satellite. Glitch in their stuff. Uh, it all looks fake. Heavy chem trailing in Arkansas and Texas this morning and Mississippi. You can still see it there. Needs a load. spraying let's see where we're at in Arkansas all of this is heavy spraying today I'm sure everybody's got a lot of pictures I've been really busy getting this boat ready checking out the other boat we're gonna be on heavy chem trials in Louisiana all right guys let me see there are some frequency waves everywhere Mercy. Even flying in, I can see frequency waves in Alaska. Massive frequency waves here. They can just push this material any which way they want. The weatherman that explained it said they can just create a high pressure without electricity and push, you know, wherever they want. And the camera trail material is just the wiring for their machine. But it has a side effect. It's killing everything. Looks like heavy chem trail in Canada today. Uh, anyhow, heavy frequency waves. I'm kind of backwards on this stuff there. All right, guys, we're super raw. We're just on a boat, and I'm trying a new microphone out here. And if it works good, I'll buy one. Just a game and mic. Y'all have a good night. Commercial Fisherman standing by. We need to stop these toxic weather geoengineering projects that's poisoning our countries and controlling our weather. Commercial Fisherman out. Standing by.